Derby's going to be run right here on this track behind me tomorrow. The winning jockey will get a big purse and a page in the history books. This year, an increased effort to recognize that the first chapters of this storied race, they were written largely by black jockeys. The first race at Churchill Downs this season on Tuesday, honoring Isaac Murphy, one of the greatest jockeys of all time. The three-time winner of the Kentucky Derby, part of a tradition as old as the race for the Roses. The very first Derby, 1875, 13 to 15 jockeys were African-American. Black jockeys laid the foundation for the Kentucky Derby. This year, Kendrick Carmouche will be the first black jockey in the Derby since 2013, one of only a handful in the past century. The last black jockey to win, Jimmy Winkfield in 1902. He was a pioneer. He was a trailblazer. He made a way. His granddaughter, Dr. Amy Casey, grew up hearing about Winkfield's glory days. He ended up speaking four or five different languages. He traveled all over the world. He made $300,000. He made his rags to riches story real. Winkfield's last Kentucky Derby in 1903, as black jockeys face physical threats and legal discrimination. As you get into the 20th century, you're in the industrial age, uh, urbanization, racing is a more lucrative sport. So white jockeys are, are pushing black jockeys out of the sport. This is a $1,000 mint julep cup. Woodford Reserve, the official sponsor of the Derby, selling these gold and silver mint julep cups. Proceeds going to the project to preserve African-American turf history. And this is an important part of that history that we wanna make sure no one forgets. At the Kentucky Derby Museum, an exhibit with their pictures, silks, and stories. As far as getting all the glory that's, that comes with it today, that, that didn't happen. That didn't happen to any of the African-American jockeys in that time. Casey's family now toasting with one of those silver mint julep cups to the history of black jockeys and Winkfield's legacy. As one of the greatest jockeys that ever lived, as a trailblazer, as a champion, as a winner, classic winner. And this week, Churchill Downs also helped launch Champions for Change. It's an initiative designed to help get more black people in the sport and the business of thoroughbred racing. Oh Shep? Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.